the Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Now, I interpret this as I have read it to you from Psalms 103, verse 6, that God is the one who makes the rules and the laws and that our objective as a follower of God is to understand God's laws and God's rules. And, of course, he's given to us in the pages of his word. It would probably be rather disturbing if we were to actually take a poll of Christian believers as to how many people are actually engaged in God's word and they read it, they meditate on it, they study it, they try to get an understanding of it, I think we would be disappointed. And the result of this is that we have people who are church people, Christian people by proclamation, but they have established laws and rules in their heart and mind of righteousness based not upon what they read in the Word of God, but because of their life's experiences, they've based it upon culture, and culture plays a huge role in people's standards of righteousness. Images that they see on television, they maybe they uh, read it in the, in the paper or whatever, and they, they begin to base their lives around these things Whereas the word of God gives us the standards and the patterns that God would have us to establish according to his heart and his mind. He who is right, thus we find righteousness and how God judges it and how God views it. So we take these commandments that God gave to Moses and we use them as the example that we would follow. Now, we understand that God knows us humans so well that he knew that we were not going to be able to fulfill those laws and that those laws in themselves would not save us. Now, did you understand what I just said? We don't look to those laws as our salvation because we know that we're not going to live up to the standards of those laws. Because the word of God says that the wages of sin is death and if we commit a sin or a transgression, even one, then we are guilty and condemned. And thus, God sent his son Jesus to live that perfect life that you and I will not live. And he lived it for us and took our mistakes and our transgressions and our our ways that we have failed him. He takes all of that up on himself as he bore those on Calvary's cross. And as he comes to the Father, knowing our imperfection, and says, Father, I have taken those transgressions for them. You see, it all leads us to this realm of righteousness, which is not going to be established by our human hearts but where we put our faith and our trust in him and we seek to develop his character in us. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.